From our experience, the way to make fish passage equipment viable is to make it easy to install. The rest of this presentation will define how. We have system designs tuned to typical structure orientations, such as in a channel, in a river, in shallow water, or in a lake. We typically provide screens for one of four common orientations, T, drum, hemi-screen, and flat panel. For the sake of time, we are focusing on how these features apply to a typical T-screen orientation, but these design features all apply to any type of screening application. A guide rail system can be used to install and retrieve a screen. We use wedge wire screens. The wire opens inwardly, providing a good relationship between filtration and head loss across the media. Jacqueline coating is a permanent metal coating that prevents zebra mussel attachment. This is important for any intake structure, but particularly important for cooling water intake structures, where the low velocities create good habitat for biofouling organisms like zebra mussels and barnacles. The heart of our system is the Cook Legacy Flow Modifier. An unmodified screen may have peak local velocities 10 times faster than the average. All flow goes through one small area, while most of the screen goes unused. Our old flow modifier provides a significant improvement over the unmodified screen. This provides a lower variability between average peak flow. Our new flow modifier is better still. With the new flow modifier, there is nearly equal flow across the screen, and the modifier can scale in diameter and length for different site conditions. In areas with high silt and debris, the debris jet sparger can be used to sweep away debris. An ice break is used in areas where ice formation is a concern. Finally, the flow blade, shown here in simplified form, is used in areas of intermittent flow in order to maintain consistent current. This equipment is all governed and integrated by a Cook Legacy Airburst system. The Airburst system provides a clean burst of air to the screen. It is monitored by the bubble meter to track clogging and associated head loss across the screen. The result of this work better material and better solutions for your fish passage needs.